Hey guys, it's me Chodeking once again and welcome back to another GT Online video and in this video we are gonna take this vehicle, the Winnie EC Classic into the LS custom shop and customize this vehicle for this video. So yeah, first of all, whoa, this car has a pretty fast pickup and the acceleration seems to be really good. Yeah, so the first thing that came to my mind and as I have said in my previous videos that the EC, the Winnie EC is mostly a compact car but this one is actually a sports car. So now the Winnie EC sports will be against uh, the sports class in races or and the performance. So this car needs to be pretty good to match uh, other sports cars into the game and obviously the best ones which are really fast, even faster than the supercars. So the drive of this uh, car is pretty amazing and I think it's gonna be worth its price. I think it would be about less than a million or just, just above. Let's actually check the price of this car first before we take it inside and I'm sure after the modification this car is gonna be one of the fastest super cars oh I mean sports cars into the game and it handles pretty well you can easily dodge any sort of collision in this and oh yeah this is on the southern San Andreas super auto site and this is about 900,000 just a uh, 3k less so i think it's uh, worth its now? price like i only drove it for like one minute and i'm happy with it i think less than one minute all right so we have armor options we have brakes which we are gonna install we have bumper options so, so there are i think about seven options so we have a carbon splitter which is a just a basic splitter then we have our primary splitter secondary splitter and then we have a uh, carbon race splitter primary race splitter and then we have a secondary race spl splitter so i think the carbon one looks pretty nice and let's see the rear bumper options we have a uh, stock rear bumper diffuser primary tip diffuser and secondary tip diffuser so I think I'm going to take the carbon ones. Let's see what else we have. We have the exhaust options. Stock exhaust, big bore exhaust. We have titanium exhausts. We can get, oh, the exhaust in the front sides of the car. This is pretty interesting. And yeah, it also patches up the little exhaust uh, holes in the back. So then we have Whoa, this is interesting. We have uh, radial exhausts. This look pretty nice. We have the same in titanium. Then we have four four pointed exhausts and then we have the same thing in titanium. I think this is really interesting and I haven't seen these in any other car. We can also go for these ones. These ones are pretty nice but I'm gonna go for the four pointed exhaust. This looks pretty interesting. And I'm sure it's gonna look interesting when you take it outside as well. So that's a uh, that's a unique feature for this. So then we have fenders, stock fenders, then we have carbon fenders and then we have secondary body kit. Alright, so we will choose this later after we finalize the paint of this vehicle. So we have the grills, we have straw grills, we have the intercooler which puts LTD signs instead of the headlights and then we have the intercooler with carbon vents. Where are the carbon vents? I'm not sure where are with carbon vents. I can't really see where the vents are and then we have Oh, the lip of the grill down there. That's what's changing with primary color and we have with carbon. Alright, so I think I'm gonna skip this pretty much. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy any of these. So we have hood options, we have stock hood, we have carbon hood, 
stripped hood which has the bolts on them you have the carbon stripped hood we have the vented hood we have the carbon vented hood we have the hood with extra vents on there we have we have primary vents on the hood then we have the carbon hood vents then we have the vent hood with vent so this one has the vents and all also a secondary vent at the middle so th this one is pretty interesting I think I'm gonna go with this one or shall we get this one yeah, I'm gonna go with this one so we have the hood option right there then we have uh, roof options we have the stock roof we have the carbon roof scoop we have primary roof scoop secondary race roof scoop you have the primary race roof scoop and then we have the secondary one and then we have the whole roof which is carbon that's interesting actually alright so I'm gonna also select this when we're done with the paint job then we have skirts stock skirts carbon skirts primary skirts secondary skirts then we have the carbon ray skirt then we have the primary race and secondary ray skirt so I'm not actually sure about this but I think we are gonna be getting this one right we have the carbon lip spoiler this is interesting we have the street spoiler we have the ray spoiler primary big wing and then we have I think I think I'm gonna g go with the stock one or maybe we could get this later okay we'll do the paint first so we have uh, different sorts of uh, sun strips as well we have global oil we have hard stand we have the normal one and the secondary one so I'm gonna do this after the delivery of course then we have the suspension option this drops the car pretty low I like that transmission option turbo dead. option and did we skip engine as well yes we did so yeah guys uh, yeah we also have to check out the livery of this thing so let's just quickly respray this car to to gray so we can check out all the liveries there we go and we will get on the liveries right now and see what liveries we have for this car alright yeah guys so for the liveries we have this the white stripes then we have the black stripes we have the power metal this is a pretty nice livery I like the look of this one and then we have uh, the power metal I really like this one then we have the Republican Spray Strangers this is a pretty nice uh, livery as well it's a complete package and then we have the I think this is a race company the the Cherenkov uh, strawberry warms you to the core I think this is some sort of a liquor company and then we have the same thing in line this looks pretty nice and then we have the sprunk livery I like this one as well usually they cover the whole whole car but they reinvented this one and it's actually sprunk light and then we have the sprunk extreme we have the both uh, the sprunk light and the sprunk extreme this is pretty interesting this is the log larger one this is pretty interesting this is another um, liquor company this is pretty interesting and we have the same thing in lime color so I'm actually kind of confused which one should I get I'm not gonna get the sprunk one and I don't think I'm gonna get the logger one the sprunk one is nice but it's not that cool but I think I'm gonna go with the power metal yeah so we are just gonna buy this one and now I'm gonna respray the vehicle so I'll see you guys shortly after I am done with the paint job so yeah guys now we are done with the paint job and I went for wine red for the primary paint it's nothing special 
but I, it just looked uh, good on this livery and then I went for ice white for the secondary color and for the trim color which is the interior color I selected blaze red so yeah guys and I also changed the rims to sport rims and uh, which rims are these exactly these are called the ice kit and they look pretty nice in ice white, white as well so yeah now after that we are gonna go for the bumper options I almost forgot about these so we have these options here we can go with the carbon splitter or we could go with the ray splitter so I, I'm gonna buy the carbon ray splitter right here then we have the diffusers for the back we have uh, primary colored and then we have uh, secondary colored so I'm gonna go for the carbon diffusers right here so that's also done what else do we have I also changed the fenders from stock to secondary so they match my livery color actually it's also a bit flashy because my rear bumper also have uh, liveries in white but I'm gonna stay with this because it looks nice for the livery then we have the grill options which I won't select because I'm good with th these ones hood we already did lights livery plate plate which plate do we have we have this one should we change it no I'm with this. yeah so we needed to select the roof options so we have carbon we have primary roof scoop I think I'm gonna go with the normal one because these ones are too slim I don't like the look of that so here we go we got the primary roof scoop as well the skirts which I haven't selected I wanted these ones but they are kind of uh, hiding the livery underneath so which one should we get should we get these ones let's just get the ca carbon one so I'm gonna get the carbon carbon um, skirts and then we have the spoiler options I think this looks pretty nice as well but uh, not that good in my opinion so we can get the street spoiler the race spoiler or we can do these this one in white looks pretty nice so we could just leave it to stock I like the shape of this one yes, so I'm gonna leave that stock we have sun str strips now so we have the manufacturer hard stand on our sides as well so we can get it on the sun screen as well or we could just get the global oil one or or maybe not because I don't like this uh, sun strip coming in my way from the first person view so I'm gonna skip on that uh, as well so everything else is pretty much complete and yeah let's just take this vehicle outside and see how it looks so now it is morning time in Los Santos so let's just drive this vehicle around a little bit see how it performs now with all all the performance upgrades installed so I think this vehicle is gonna perform really amazing and the roads are still a bit wet so we can check its its traction on the road so let's it's start from zero actually so I'm just gonna stop the car over here so we can that's the acceleration of this thing. So the engines, uh, engine upgrade, transmission and turbo is installed. And also the brakes. So let's just drive around in this week a little bit. So our exhaust option looks pretty insane as well. We have the four pointed exhaust. Let's take in this alley. Wow, you can actually save civilians in this car because it turns so amazing. I almost crashed over there. So yeah guys, this is the Vinny EC Classics. Oh, I mean sports. This, this is not the classic one. The classic one is featured in the Vespucci job, which is also Mr. Bean's car, which I believe. So yeah, the livery back here looks a bit 
weird but uh, I like it how it is or maybe I can change my livery in the future so I'm happy with this design which I came up so if you guys want to see anything else on my channel so do leave your requests in the comments and I will be sure to bring that video out for you guys as soon as I can so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did do drop a like rating and subscribe to the channel for more GTA online videos uh, mostly daily because I am active these days and I am uploading daily so yeah let's just take this vehicle back to my penthouse garage or we can just yeah let's just go inside real quick so yeah we have customized uh, three vehicles from this uh, update so far so we have about three more left so I think I'm gonna do the four door car next which is right next to us which is called the grafter so this is gonna be a cool vehicle as well so yeah guys this is the Vinny EC Sports is actually a sports car rather than a compact so yeah guys I'll see you in the next one take care and I hope you have a nice day peace Thank you.